Police uniform conversation. I want us now to continue with a bulletin. Controversy surrounding the paternity of the late Professor George Saitoti's son, Zachary Musenge Saitoti, has re-emerged after a retired teacher from Subukia threatened to move to court seeking to compel the justice system to force a DNA test on himself and Saitoti's wife, Margaret. Sebastian Miner Njugu says despite the fact that a similar legal onslaught to have him declared as the biological father of Saitoti his son Zachary was thwarted by the Court of Appeal last year. He, know, he, na, he has now renewed confidence in the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. KTN's Timothy Otieno reports on that story. Sebastian Maina Guiju. Sebastian Maina appeared at a Nairobi hotel alone in this revived push to have him declared as the biological father of the late Professor George Saitoti's son, Zachary Musengi Saitoti. Maina reiterates that Zachary Saitoti, whom he says was born as Stephen Washira Maina, was kidnapped as a child and his family only managed to see the man they refer to as their child during Professor Saitoti's funeral service in 2012. My third born child was kidnapped and after 24 years, I found the boy. Na huyo mtoto wangu nilimpata kwa boma ya Saitoti, the late Saitoti. Maina says that he will prove to the courts, the Saitoti family, and all Kenyans that he indeed is the man who sired Saitoti's son 33 years ago. And for that, he is armed with this newspaper article dated September 4th, 1988, highlighting the story of a boy who went missing from the Subukia shopping center by the name Stephen Washira Maina. Kabla kesi haijaendelea proceedings, kwa sababu tumeanza hiyo kesi sasa. Nataka tufanye DNA. Na mimi nataka tufanye DNA na the late Saitoti aende achimbuliwe kwa mchanga atolewe na mimi pamoja na my late wife ashimbuliwa hata yeye niko tayari kumtoa kwa mchanga na bibi yake saitoti tufanywe DNA pamoja na hiyo kijana <coughs> that one is I'm requesting the court it is a request that Sebastian believes will be granted if this document in the possession of KTN News showing the birth of an infant by the name Stephen Washira on the 21st of September 1985 with Maina's name as the child's father will be admissible in court. I now trust the leadership of the DCIO and the DPP who are now in the office. This is not the first time Sebastian is seeking claim of Zachary Musengi's paternity. KTN News attempts to get a comment from the Saitoti family bore no fruit, even as yet another legal showdown looms over their son's parentage six years after Saito.